What's up Scorpio? This is going to be your love forecast for the second half of March. This is for my Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you are new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. So let's get started. So here, what's coming in please for my Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, second half of March. Any love messages for my Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of March. Oh, I was running out of battery. Sorry guys. Any love messages for my Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of March. What can you tell my Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, second half of March. Knight of Pentacles, the Temperance card and the Hierophant card. The Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Scorpio, a real energy of slow and steady and patience. Okay, so I feel like Scorpio, there is a situation that you've invested in, Seven of Pentacles, and you've kind of been waiting to see how things play out. Page of Swords means that this is a person that, you know, you're sort of keeping eye on, they're keeping an eye on you, Page of Swords. Um, it hasn't reached its full potential, hasn't reached the commitment stage yet. And there's something very slow about this, okay? Could have been connected to this person for some time, or there's just a sense of things going very like slow and steady. Um, with the Emperor card, this could be you or someone you're dealing with, it could be a father figure, okay? Um, or you're eyeing this person out as someone for the long term. Or vice versa but like I said it's slow um, tell me a little bit about the temperance energy okay king of cups slow and steady and we've got a king of cups and the world okay so king of cups this could be you and your masculine energy or you're dealing with another water sign there's a sense of things being slow and timing being a factor because the world could mean either that there's distance physical distance between you and this person or it could mean that there's something here that needs to be closed out when it comes to your heart okay so it's like maybe there is a sense of caution there's a sense of taking a conservative approach when it comes to a situation that you do feel could be your long term up but there is caution because maybe there's a sense of something else still needs to be ended closed out completed released um, as i said that the moon and the three of cups so i feel like there's some unresolved emotions here when it comes to third parties okay the moon can also be fears so that you could feel like there's a bit of fear here in moving towards something or maybe you're dealing with someone in that energy this is transferable so it could be that you have a situation with someone where something still needs to be completed closed out um, you know and that could be stalling the connection the moon card can mean that someone might not be revealing everything so there could be a sense that there is things that haven't been revealed yet um, when it comes to emotions um, or secrecy, when it comes to certain things that haven't been closed out in relation to third parties. Maybe you're dealing with someone that was married um, or in a long-term commitment, okay? Or maybe that's you or both, right? But there is a sense of an opportunity here for um, true love, Ace of Cups, right? And a new, new start in love and Chariot card moving forward. Again, a card about distance. So for some of you, that's the factor. Um, and there's a four of pentacles, there's a sense of holding on, but you could feel either you or this person withholds a little bit, okay? Um, tell me why we have Hierophant. Why do we have the Hierophant? Yeah, the six of pentacles. So there is this sense of wanting reciprocity in this connection. So either you are looking for that or this person you feel like you're investing more or this person feels like they're investing more and it's not moving um, maybe forward as quickly as you or they would like, right? Um, but I think that there's a new beginning that's focusing now on reciprocity. So I do feel that this is slowly progressing 
um, Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, yeah? And then the Ace of Swords. So there is an opportunity or an offer coming in now in the second half of March that is like the focus on something that's very much about long-term emotional fulfillment. And the Ace of Swords is a card about honest conversations, clarity and breakthrough. So especially if things haven't been that clear, this is like a breakthrough moment and clarity maybe between you and this person and a balancing out Six of Pentacles. Um, so two aces on the table, which means a breakthrough of some sort and a new start for you and this person. Magician card, it's like something that has been manifesting okay but there's been a sense of stuckness either you or this person has felt trapped um like their hands are tied maybe because they're still sort of trying to tie something up as i said that the two of wands it's like it's been at a crossroads um yeah let me get specifics on this person their feelings and intentions towards you scorpio what are their feelings and intentions towards scorpio now in the second half of march King of Cups, beautiful, double King of Cups. So there is this sense of love. They're emotionally invested in you. There's a Seven of Swords and an Ace of Cups. Double Ace of Cups, guys. So this person's intention is to come in and have this sort of new love beginning. The Seven of Swords means that there is something here between the two. It's like either there's been self-sabotage or a sense of distrust between the two of you. Um, as I said, I think because there is stuff that is not revealed or there's some fears at play it could be that this person maybe doesn't know if they can trust the situation or they feel that they've made you feel like they can't like you're not trusting the situation ace of wands so they want a passionate beginning with you and five of swords and page of swords okay double page of swords so this is a person that's keeping their eye on you wanting this new beginning why do we have the five of swords six of swords okay so there's definitely been a lot of conflict and drama for this person um either you've had direct conflict with this person um with you know had words with them and they want to move out of that energy or this person's had conflict and they're trying to move away from it six of swords okay again a card about over water so that's possible again that, that's a factor otherwise this is just about moving away from any drama to have a new beginning we've got a queen of wands here for some of you, there's a queen of wands in the mix, guys. <laughs> so maybe this person's tied to a queen of wands. Sometimes that can be the other, the other woman. Again, doesn't have to be gender specific, but yeah, queen of wands. Or either way, this is about wanting to move towards you quite passionately because the queen of wands is very sexy or attractive. Seven of pentacles, double seven of pentacles next to each other. So they know they have a foundation with you and they want to build on that foundation. They know it hasn't reached its full potential and things have been very stuck, hanged man and hermit. So you or this person could have taken some time out to go within, get some clarity on the situation. Um, you know, hanged man is like, things have been on pause. Five of cups, because perhaps there's been disappointment in the past this person could have been quite stuck in the past and things that haven't worked um or maybe they feel like that's been you but the five of cups means that there's potential here for the relationship but people are too focused on things that haven't worked there may be spilt cuts between you and this person but i'm almost getting this is more focusing too much on what hasn't worked in the past page of cups is like a new path in love and an offer coming in so i think this person's intention is to come in and make an offer for a new start, move away from this difficult energy, perhaps move away from the move, chariot card, move away from um, what's been stalling the connection, because two of wands, two of wands, right? Move away from being at a crossroads, move in a specific direction with you because there's a death energy. So death, by the way, is you, Scorpio, but this is a transformation happening. And perhaps they're closing something out or ending something elsewhere um even if it's just releasing something um or maybe they're hoping that you are releasing something ending something to move forward chariot card now for those of you that are at a distance this could be travel this could literally be you know getting in the car to see you or flying or moving towards you okay because the love is energy and then we've got a king of wands so we've got king and queen of wands so this could be you and this person being very much a match very passionate about one another and the lovers cut is soul connection 
It also might mean that there's choices and decisions like, do we move forward or what's happening kind of thing, right? Um, yeah. Okay, and let me get you guys a Romance Angel. Romance Angel, please, for Scorpio. Separation. Yeah, so it could be that there is separation, physical or emotional, between you and this person. Trust. Something here to do with trust because I do feel that there has been some self-sabotage or a sense of secrecy or whatnot. Um, so I think, yeah, there's a need to kind of trust religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path also could be a factor for a very small portion of you when i have the hierophant card this can be that someone that's very bound in religion tradition and there could be differences maybe between you and this person um, and influence of outside energies that disrupt the connection slow the connection down for others of you it's just that there's something religious uh spiritual to this okay because there's like a soul connection um, playfulness okay but i think that there's a sense of playfulness between you and this person calling in your soulmate so there's a sense of having wanting to having been manifesting this calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so even though it's been very stalled and moving very slowly temperance is about divine timing and it has been manifesting because soulmate there you go this is your soulmate Okay, Scorpio, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.